and it's now the time for the women's 100 metres. Lauren Hewitt from Victoria, the teenager in lane one. Sharon Cripps from Queensland in two. Melinda Gainsford Taylor, she's the favourite. In lane three, Jodie Lambert, relay representative, relay finalist at the Olympic Games. Tanya Van here from South Australia on the comeback trail. She's been fantastic in the heat and in the semi final. Nova Peris Kneebone from the Northern Territory. Ronaldo and Govinda Sammy. I There's Nova, Hewitt. Yeah, and I thought Nova ran well in her semi. Every race she's having, she seems to be improving. So I think uh, she's going to be definitely pushing for the silver medal. Sharon Cripps, who has a fast start. She was a member of that relay team in Atlanta that made the final. And relay positions for the Commonwealth Games can be up for grabs here. There's games for Taylor. 11 12 is the Australian record. She's won nine or eight national titles. This will be number nine if she's successful. Jody Lambert. Just scraped into the final. Tanya Van here. That's the main danger, I believe, to Melinda Gaines for Taylor. She's certainly in personal best form. So is this girl, Nova Paris Nebo, and she's in great form. We'll go to train with Mary Jo Parekh and Maurice Green after this domestic season in Australia. Nova has fantastic ability to compete well when she needs to. She showed that last year in this race. There's Elena Ronaldo, powerful athlete from New South Wales. Spent some time, time training with Cathy Freeman over Christmas and Govinda Sammy from Malaysia. So in lane three, gains for Taylor. Van Heer in five. Hewitt in lane one has got blistered feet after a week's work. She started work this week with one of her sponsors and had to wear the dress shoes, Jane, and has got the blisters. I'm not quite sure how that works, being she's a guy. She's used to having the school shoes on, isn't she, when she didn't have her runners on? So games for Taylor in the sunglasses today. It's the first time we've seen that. Can she claim national title number nine? There are the dangers. Van Heer and Paris Kneebone. Well, away, Ronaldo. The, yeah, movement out wide in lane seven. Alona Ronaldo moving there. Not unusual to see breaks in this event where the start is so important. I think the uh, 100 metres and the sprint hurdles tend to get a few of them going. You can see Paris Kneebone reacting to Ronaldo on her outside and then Van Heer following from there. Gainsford Taylor was impressive right throughout her race, Jane, in the semis. We've noticed this season with her starts, they haven't been brilliant, but it wasn't the case in the semis. No, she had a good start, and she'll have to this time too, because Sharon Cripps, who is on her inside, starts very well, as does Van Heer, who is two lanes on her right. There's almost three races here. There's a race for the title, which will probably be Gainsford Taylor on her own, the race for the minor medals, and then the race for fourth and fifth for those spots in the Commonwealth Games relay team. Clean start, Gainsford Taylor away well with Van Heer and Cripps. Paris Nebo now better this time, but Gainsford Taylor already gaining the ascendancy. Hewitt running a great race, so is Paris Nebo and then Van Heer, but it's Gainsford Taylor, national title number five in the 100, beating Paris Nebo and Hewitt. And the time is fast, 11.35 in these conditions is exceptional for Melinda Gainsford Taylor, and that is national title number nine. It's only 17 degrees here at the moment in Melbourne. And she's run that into a headwind. We'll just see. I think it might be a minus point. No, 2.7. 2 so that's, so a, that's a very impressive time. run for Melinda Gaines for Taylor. You can see here, this is the trademark Gaines for Taylor running away from the field. Hewitt was up there for a long time. Nova Paris, a great run from her. She'll get the silver medal. Van here, a little bit disappointing on what she had run earlier. But look at that, a clear margin of victory for Melinda Gaines for Taylor. And 11.34 into a minus 2.7 headwind is a sensational run. Well, Jane, we felt that Van here might have pushed Gaines for Taylor in the first 30 or 40 metres, but it wasn't the case. No, it didn't run as well as she has in her previous rounds, I don't think. I thought Melinda did start a lot better again. Yep. She, uh, she perhaps picks that up a little bit when she's not under pressure. We saw her start fairly poorly when she was up against Marion Jones, although Jones has such an amazing start that maybe it was just in relation to that. But all credit to Melinda, that's a great time. And you turn that wind around, if that was a 2.7 tar wind, then she's certainly running close to 11 seconds flat and would have her national record in danger. So obviously Melinda Gaines for Taylor. She hadn't trained since Tuesday. She had the flu earlier in the week and she wanted to freshen up and she's done it here. And if she can claim the 200 metre title tomorrow, which you would think on the strength of that run is a certainty, she'll claim world, uh, national title number 10. You've won 13 of those, Jane, so you know what that's like. Fantastic run.
Yeah, well done, Melinda Gaines, for Taylor. 11.34, Nova Paris Kneebone gets her silver medal. A fantastic effort from her, 11.62, and Lauren Hewitt, 11.68. They're good times considering the headwind. Tanya Van here, she ran well in the heat in the semi-final, couldn't quite produce, reproduce in the final.